everyone. Nadia and I are back. Um, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. We definitely did. We had a great time. Can and, uh, you open the door? Yes, you can open the door. Nadia got some new books like she's reading right now, and I finished my book. Um, I was actually intending to continue on through um, the very end of December, and I might add just a couple like little pictures or something in this, um, but honestly, this book is so full, I can't fit anymore. It's just, the binding is not, it's not big enough for me again. Once again, I've run into the same problem I did last year where the book doesn't actually shut that well. And I thought that it would be different this year because I was using the, the binding rings, but apparently it, it still wasn't big enough. So, um, I'm just going to have to continue on and probably just end up making my own for next year. <laughs> but regardless, I love this book so much. Um, I've looked at it so many times now, just, you know, just going through it again. And I just love it so much. So once again, it was confirmed that this is like one of my favorite projects to do ever. And uh, I just can't wait to show you what I have. So let me just go ahead and take you on the inside. So let me just go ahead and take you to where we left off last week. Um, I know I said I wasn't going to do the dividers and things because I wasn't sure how that would really work out because I made this one and I hated it. Um, I, I guess I don't hate it. I just, I don't know. It didn't turn out how I thought. Um, but I saw somebody do something like this and I had it pinned on Pinterest and um, I went back to my Pinterest board to get some ideas, um, you know, of some things that I would like to do. And I saw it and I was like, oh, I have to do that. I think it's so cute. So this is kind of a copycat idea, but um, I took one of the inserts, the craft colored inserts that just came with this snap binder and I painted it white. Um, I painted it white and then I took an X-Acto knife and cut out all of these little circles or shapes, whatever. And, uh, and then I just st stuck black and white papers on the background on the other side. I adhered it. And then um, Nadia helped me pick out little embellishments to stick in some of them. So I just thought it turned out really cute and it's a nice little... Um, divider so I really like it it's also I coated it with an iridescent medium so um, you can't really tell in the camera but it does have a shimmer to it so it's I don't know it kind of matches this page I liked how they it's really cohesive because this one is just very like black and white with just little pops of some light colors and this is you know the same so I really like this spread how it turned out and then on the back to cover up all of the little squares, because I just really, I was real sloppy about cutting them out and just, you know, taping them on to the back and stuff. Um, on this side, I just covered it up completely with scrapbook paper and um, just added some things. So this is day 22. Um, I added some ribbon and this little wood veneer and I have this little envelope pocket and I stuck this photo in. This photo is kind of funny. Um, my husband and I were, we have tons of boxes and stuff. We were getting lots of packages and they just kept piling up in the corner <laughs> before we could take them out. And uh, I, he was about ready to take them out one day and I was like, no, you have to, we have to try to make it hit the, the um, ceiling. And um, that's so it's so ridiculous, but we did it. And so I had to take a picture of him next to the boxes and uh, put it in there because I thought it was funny. Um, and then in this, on this picture, this is, I, this is what I shared on Instagram. I just, um, journaled on top of it. I just said, this is, I hold in my hand, the secret to life's happiness. It's called a Sarah's chocolate covered pretzel. My mother-in-law sends these every year. And if you're from, um, the outskirts of Pittsburgh or some, anywhere around there, you've probably had a Sarah's, Sarah's candy. They, are, oh my gosh, they're amazing. But the chocolate covered pretzels are my favorite. So um, she sends those to us every year. Um, on this day, we went and did our annual um, tour, I guess you would call it, of the neighborhoods where we go and look at everyone's uh, blow up, you know, decorations and stuff in their yard. And we did a little drive by like always. And I uh, took some pictures because I just think they're so funny. Um, because we just don't do stuff like that. Like, we're not, we don't even think about decorating our yard like this. Like, 
I don't know. And I think it's just really funny. We're just, maybe we're just boring people, but I just think it's hilarious whenever I see, you know, things like a giant cow with a Santa hat on and, um, you know, like a helicopter Santa and stuff like that. I just think it's so funny. <laughs> people are fun. So um, I, I just took pictures of that. I put a little quote because my husband has, he just says the funniest things. So I just put that in there. Um, and then I did a word search. I put this Christmas word search in this pocket and I just circled some of the things Um you know, like, um, nativity, snowman, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, it's just stuff that we found. So I put that in there and then I put these little stars, um, these little glittery stars, um, on this page, this was the 24th. So Christmas Eve, um, my husband worked on Christmas this year. So we decided to have our Christmas on Christmas Eve. Um, so it was really nice. Um, I had tons of pictures, so I decided to just keep using these little pocket pages as much as I could for these to fill, you know, in as many pictures as I can in as little space as possible, because uh, this book is getting, it was getting really bulky at this point anyways. And it's just because I add stuff like these dimensional embellishments, and I know I could totally take those away and the book would be flatter and it would just be fine, but this is just how I scrapbook. This is how I document. I like all the little extra pieces, so I can't even help it. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, I took pictures of our all of our, um, you know, our Christmas Eve and stuff, Nadia opening her gifts and stuff like that. And I put them in here. Um, on this page, this was a little bit different. This was kind of interesting and it was an accident. So I went to print out this big picture. I just made this in Photoshop and I just wrote today's Christmas Eve and the date. And I went to print it out on photo paper, but my printer took two sheets of the photo paper at the same time. And if you can see right here, let me see. If you can see right here, it printed off the edge, so it took it took one sheet and it printed on one side and cut it off, and then it, it printed the rest of the picture on another sheet. And I was really annoyed, but I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna waste these two pieces of photo paper. Like, this stuff isn't cheap. So I decided to just adhere it together. I actually just stapled it on the edges and made a pocket out of it, and then I stuck this journaling card in because it has a 24 at the top, so it's like the date. It just says Jolly, and then I was going to write on the back of it. I, ha I still need to journal a bit, but I um, was going to write on the back of it about um, Nadia getting her indoor trampoline for Christmas from us this year. So um, I can just slip that right back here. Um, I used a lot of things like these little tags. These is, this is just a two from tag. I found this at, I think, Dollar General last year, but I thought it was so cute I had to use it. So <laughs> I just have that in the corner. On the back of that, I had this, it's just an eight and a half by 11 sheet of photo paper and I just boop, cut it in half and then adhered it to the back side of this and then put this one here. So it's a picture of us all together opening the gifts. And then on the back of that, I stuck this uh, this little paper bag, and I just embellished the front a little bit and just said photos because I have so many photos. I figured I better stick some in the in like a bag like this. So I'll just show you them quickly. Um, Nadia got some crafting things because that's kind of what she's into right now. So she got this little. It's just called paper bag monsters, and it just comes with this kit of a bunch of these paper bags and. Um, and you just put together these little monsters and it's cute. But we did this as a family, the three of us, and it was a lot of fun to do that together. Um, and then her with her one of her gifts. My husband taking a picture of one of his and me and Nadia. And I just stuck those in here. Um, on this page, I made this one, this vellum sheet um, with just embossing powder. So I just wrote Mary, 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 Mary all over it, and then I just um, embossed it in gold. Um, this is just a little printable that I have too. I just like to add extra things in here. So put that there. Um, on this page, I used my um, 
what am I saying? My Fuji Instax mini camera to take a picture of our food. So this is just a plate of food. Um, we made um, every Thanksgiving, we usually do these, we make a turkey and stuffing and, you know, mashed potatoes, everything that you would normally, the typical Thanksgiving dinner, I should say. And then we actually make our own homemade pierogies and we stuff everything into the pierogi. And it sounds, and we, then we cover it with gravy and everything, but it, it sounds a little weird, but it's delicious. It's so stinking good. But since I wasn't home for Thanksgiving this year and I was traveling, um, we decided to do it for Christmas instead. So I, um, so that's what we did. And then on this card, I just put this year, it only took six to seven hours of cooking in the kitchen to prepare our turkey pierogi dinner worth it. Um, it usually takes like 10 hours. So I was like, oh, it only took seven. Uh, so I just put that on there. And then I have my, um, just some journaling cards I thought were cute. This page is purely decoration too. Um, I notice I don't take a lot of photos in the um, portrait, I guess. Um, uh, what am I saying? I don't, I don't take them so that they fit into these pockets so much. So I generally have to use these for things like journaling cards and what have you. So, um, that's what I did. This was just decoration. I have these little, um, embellishments and things that I, I picked up this year and then some things from last year. So I just stuck that in there because I thought it was cute. This is just a tag that I had too in my stash. Um, and then on this page, this was a little, kind of a weird pocket page, I guess, something I wasn't really sure what to do with because it has this long strip. I want to say it's probably about like two, it's like two by eight and I don't, didn't really know what to do with it. So I actually just adhered it with my fuse tool into these little strips to make these candy cane stripes. So I just put like red sequins, white sequins, you know, whatever to make almost like a um, candy cane type of page. And then um, in the pockets, my parents came to visit this year for Christmas, which was great. And um, my dad was wearing his, one of my elf hats and Nadia was wearing reindeer horns. And so I took pictures of them because they're just funny together. And I uh, stuck them in the pockets there because I thought that was fun. On this side, Nadia has her Santa's workshop that she has at school, just like we used to do in elementary school. And um, so she got some gifts for us. So these, I had her write her name on this card. So she wrote Nadia there. And then I put my gifts from with my label maker and then just put a sticker on top. And then with this little um, clothespin, mini clothespin, you can open it up and then you can see the presents. And she got me this little... Um, ornament that says sweetest mom. I thought that was cute. And then a uh, paper clip. This is, isn't this so perfect for me? It's a paper clip with a little kitty cat on the top of it. <laughs> and I thought it was so cute. I'm using it in my journal right now to as a bookmark to mark the page. Um, might use it in my planner next year or something too, but it's just too perfect. So um, I stuck that in there. And then I used one of those adhesive um, add-on type of little pockets to to just put on top of here to make this flap so I did that and then this right here this is a um, this is a gift that my friend Liz sent me and uh, she made this and I thought it was so cute and he's been on my piano this whole season um, thank you again Liz I know you're watching <laughs> And I just, I just love it so much. So it's on my piano and I had to take a picture and stick it in here too. Um, on this page, I have this little pocket added in with this journaling card that just says story on it. Um, I just thought that was fun. And uh, on this page, there's a picture of Naughty and I reading a story. My dad took this and I just had it, him send it to me and I just stuck it in here. So it's Naughty and I reading one of her new stories. Um, and she was actually really sick um, on Christmas. She's had this respiratory thing, um, bad cough and everything. So she wasn't really herself on Christmas, but um, I put, there's a picture of my mom and Nadia just on the couch and my mom was kind of holding Nadia and I just put snuggles with grandma, make any sick girl feel better. <laughs> and then I stuck this tab on the top so that you could see to flip it and then it flips open. I did another adhesive 
um, strip here to add more space. And then there's a picture of my dad playing the piano with Nadia. And then my parents all together, they were looking at pictures on my dad's iPad. So um, they, were, they were doing that together. And on this page, um, Nadia got a new outfit from my sister-in-law and so I was taking pictures of her as she was trying it on so I put, took this photo of her and I stuck it here and then I just on the blank side um, I always like to leave some open space on some of the photos so that you can journal next to it and uh, I just think that's just a fun way to add some extra writing onto your pictures so that's what I did and I just wrote about um, her her new outfit, I guess. And then in this pocket here, I have these journaling cards I think are so cute, but I also find things in magazines and in, um, in like catalogs that get sent. And this was from a Land of Nod catalog. It said, a holly jolly stress-free stress -free Christmas. And I cut that out because I thought that was cute. But then with my label maker, I put almost because it's never completely stress-free, right? So I put a holly jolly almost stress-free Christmas. And I just stuck it on this journaling card. Um, to be honest, I couldn't get myself to write on this card because I've been hoarding this collection. It's the crepe paper bundled up collection. And I this is the last journaling card I have like this. And I couldn't get myself to write on it in case I messed up. So I was like, oh, it's better for me to just do something like this. So that's what I did. Um, on this one, I just added in a photo. And when I add in all of these extra little pieces, I always use these clear reinforce, um, reinforcements what is what are they they're from they're by the brand Avery but they're the clear circles to stick on the corners so that the, the pictures and the pages don't rip I always put those on there to kind of reinforce the, the papers but anyways I just wanted to throw that out there I took these four by six photos and I adhered them back to back and um, this is another picture of Nadia with her outfit and then there's this tag from the October afternoon collection and I just um, it just says Rudolph brand size and I put size five and whatever so I just put that on the edge there and then on the back there's just a picture of my mom and Nadia opening presents together um, this is a little tag that I got. They had, well, it's not little, it's actually a big tag. They had these at Dollar General again, too. I find a lot of stuff there. Um, and so I just put that on here, and I haven't finished it yet, but on the back, I was actually going to write down all of the gifts that Nadia got this year. So I was going to write that on the back here. I just haven't gotten to it yet. This is something that Nadia made us in preschool. So um, I. I might actually, well, no, I can't laminate it. That's why I didn't laminate it. It has um, yarn, little knots on the, each finger for like bow tie. So that's why I can't laminate it. But I did put the little reinforcement stickers on the, on the um, circles I punched here to kind of give it a little bit more, um, you know, st sturdiness, stability, I guess is the word I'm looking for. Um, but it's just her handprint, and I always cherish this, you know. So I put that in there. See, it's getting really hard to turn. So I couldn't even really finish out every single day for the rest of the year. Um, the last, like, what, six days or whatever, um, they're going to be just jumbled together because I can't, I can't fit any more in this. Um, in this, I have, I made this envelope out of scrapbook paper and using my envelope punch board, and I just put cards inside, and then I have this little adhesive button, but I used Velcro to close it, and then on the inside, I stuck all of our Christmas cards, so, you know, my sister, and just all of our Christmas cards that we, we got this year, I just put them in there, my other sister and her family, um, yeah, my best friend, you know, I just stuck them all in here, so, you know what, I'll put those in later, <laughs> and then just Velcros, and um, then this is where we leave off, because this is where I'm going to, I used the other half, I cut the strip down of the, um, the vellum sheet that I made, and then I just stapled it on here. Um, this is where I'm going to tuck in the rest of the photos that I take, or any memorabilia, things like that, and I'm just going to stick it in here. This was a Heidi Swap um, 
oh my gosh, memory file, I guess, from the old Believe collection. I don't know what the new one looks like, but the original Believe collection. I've had these and I haven't used them, so um, this was uh, one of the memory files, but I actually adhered it together because I didn't really like the the print on the on the other side very much, so I just folded it in half and I adhered it together to make just a pocket where I can put things. So um, on the other side, I can't even turn it. Oh my gosh, it's about ready to rip. Um, on the other side, I put my favorite, I always do this, I look back on the photos that I took over the year and I put my a few favorites from 2015 and I used my label maker to do that and then I just printed them out really small and I just stuck a few pictures here and just added some stickers and what have you. And then on the inside, I am going to write kind of like a reflection of the year. I have this little journaling card. It says a year in review. It's just one of the old smash um, from the smash pad um, that came with the holiday collection last year with my smash book. I was going to write down all of my um, our top events from the year and um, just write those down and just put them in this pocket. And uh, like my nephew was born, um, I got newest nephew this year, and just all kinds of stuff like that. So I was going to put it in here. And on this very back spot here, I have, I adhered a little DVD case. And I printed, I have these little printable DVDs. I printed out a photo in here and put Christmas highlights. And I, with this whole book, with every photo that I've taken, not every photo, but a lot of them, while I was had my camera out, um, I would switch over to video mode and I would just take videos of things too, of what we were doing, like us driving around and Nadia jumping on the trampoline and all of the stuff that really we, we did this year. Um, just playing the piano, stuff like that. Um, and I would take video clips and I put it all together and just made like a really short, like five minute home movie. And I kind of talked over top of it about what I wrote here on the front page um, whenever I did this, the reason why. Um, I modified it a little bit because I wanted to talk about what we did this year too, but I uh, basically went off of what I said here with the reason why and I just, um, I just made a video out of it. So I, I'll actually show you that too because I showed my husband. He was like, you should post it. So I think I'll show you guys too if you'd like to see it. Um, and so I'm just going to burn it on the, look, I can't even turn the pages. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to burn it on the DVD and then just stick it in the back of the book. So um, you could just pop it into a DVD player and watch it or whatever. So it's just one of those things that I want to try to do more often is just take videos too. Because I take tons of photos, but I have very, very, very few videos. And uh, I don't know. This, I have a great camera that is great with both. So I don't know why I don't do that. So that's, that's what I'm going to do from now on. So anyways... That's it. That's my December daily. Um, thank you guys for all of your wonderful feedback that you've given me all month. It does mean a lot. Um, I read each and every one of your comments. And uh, even if I don't get to reply back right away, I, I do like to make the time to uh, talk to each one of you because you mean a lot. So um, I just hope that you have enjoyed working on this project too because I really loved it. I love it every year. And even though it is a lot of work, I always finish the book and I'm like, oh, that was so worth it. That's so worth all the time that I spent. So um, that's it. I'm just finishing out December and then moving on to a new book in January. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. And if I don't see you in another video in the next couple days, I will see you in the new year. So have a great one. Bye.